Okay, so we'll have now our discussion on the introduction to engineering data analysis, especially the concept of statistics and how it is uh, useful to our uh, our everyday life, the branches of um, um, statistics, and also um, what are the difference of those two branches. Okay, so first we will define the term statistics. So statistics, so it is the science and the art which deals on interpreting data from facts and information so this is one of the definition of statistics so it is the science and the art which deals on interpreting data from facts and information also we could have another definition of that so it is a science which deals with the methods of gathering presentation analysis and interpretation of data so the other definition for statistics is that it is a science which deals with the methods of um, gathering presentation analysis and interpretation of data so we will now go to uh, we will now try to define let's just we we'll now try to define each of these methods so we have gathering presentation analysis and interpretation so first if we will try to have a let's insert first a box here uh, shape Okay. So the flow of is statistics is first we have here the data gathering. So this is the first step. Then the next step is the presentation. data presentation and the next is the next is data analysis And the last one will be data interpretation. Okay, so this is how the whole um, flow of statistics go so we have data gathering 
data presentation, data analysis, and data presentation. Okay, so we will try to define each of these process. Okay, so first we will define data gathering. So data gathering, it involves Just write first the definition. Okay, so data gathering involves getting information through, so I believe it's docking edge, okay? through interviews, questionnaires, observations, experimentation, testing, and other methods. So basically, we are trying to gather data. So there are methods of that which is involves interviews. So if you, uh, if you are familiar with your uh, research work during your senior high school days, so um uh, you have uh, gone to interview or the other method is questionnaire so in which you have given questionnaire to the respondents then you have observations so basically it is um observing uh, people or observing the phenomenon of a certain um uh, certain study in which you are going to get the data or going to observe the change in its uh, in its properties we have also experimentations then testing and other methods so the the, the data that you have uh, gathered let's just move it up okay so not too much okay so the data that you have gathered will be presented in a certain way and that is now data presentation okay so data presentation is defined as the deals with translating of information information into a numerical or quantitative quantitative tabular or graphical form okay so data presentation involves so we have let's write first our R legibly here so we have presentation okay so data presentation deals with the uh, with translating of information into a numerical or quantitative data by using tabular or graphical form so after aga, after the data gathering so you are going to present your data into 
maybe a table or a graph and that is now what we call as data presentation for example uh, you are going to have a data for example our our data for the uh, a certain yeah, let's say grade yeah? grade so for example the grade is for your uh, have one so we have quiz or so quizzes so this will be quiz one two three four five then your first quiz is 90 then we have 89 then 75 then uh, let's just say 50 and this will be 100 so this is uh, a way of representing your data so this is the data that you got there so this will be a tabular form we're going to have that one in a graphical form so for example we will use a line graph so let's have this one this will be the grade here that's what it says this will be the grade okay then this is the number of quizzes so we have five quizzes five so we have one two three four five then let's start with 75 maybe we'll start with um, 75 here then we go to 80 then we will go to maybe 85 so we're running out of space 90 then this is zero so for example if you are going to graph your uh, let's just first so if you are going to graph this one be 95 and this will be 100 so for quiz number one so suppose this here's our 50 so you have 50 uh, 90 so this is our 90 then for quiz number two 89 so a little bit lower then for quiz number three this is 75 so here so just align that one then we have for four is 50 so here and for five quiz number five is a hundred so here so go where, if you are going to create a line on that one so this will be the line graph so you could interpret this one directly so it means that um, your highest quiz is five which is 100 so you could say that maybe this quiz you have uh, studied uh, you managed to study the uh, lesson very well or the lesson is just easy and for quiz number four in which you get 50 the lesson is hard so this will be the graph of your grade so that this is how you will present the data that you have gathered okay so let's have some more space for after they're presenting the data so the one that i was talking about in which i am going to interpret the uh, the data that is um, presented by the graph is data analysis okay. so data analysis is defined as the resolution of information into a numerical oh no no uh, I just repeated the, the definition of the class of the data presentation into a simpler screen simpler elements
Okay, so we have data analysis is the resolution of information into simpler elements by the application this is, this is L, by the application of statistical principles the choice of which depends upon the nature or purpose of the problem at hand okay so data analysis is the main um, core of this uh, subject so that's why uh, a whole subject is given emphasis to data analysis because it is very important so if you have your data you are going to analyze it so that you could answer your problem so the very uh, purpose of a data analysis is to answer the so-called research problem so the so the gist of statistics uh, usually the statistics is used so statistics okay so it's just statistics is usually used for research or well, that is the main reason why uh, uh, students are uh, are obliged or required to undergo the subject uh, which involves statistics and that is for research purposes especially if you are uh, getting a degree course so you must um, undergo a a subject which involves statistics because later on if you in your uh, in your senior year or in your graduating years so you will be tasked uh, you, you will be tasked to do a research so the research has a so-called research problem okay so the research problem can be answered by gating the data so data gathering so either it is by interview or uh, questionnaire or um, experimentation then in order to uh, to answer that one to to answer the problem by the use of data the data must be analyzed so that's why we will have our data analysis okay so the data analysis it will depend on the type of problem either it is a correlation a it is a uh, testing of the hypothesis or um, or just to describe it's to describe the 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 certain uh, data so the data analysis is involved to answer the research problem so that's why it is very important for um, students to be able to know what are the different uh, methods of data analysis because every method is made uh, specifically for a certain purpose to answer a certain research problem so there is no one conventional way to be applied to any type of research there is or there are different methods which is um, which is uh, which is directly applicable to certain research problem and that is one of the core purposes of um, having this subject which is engineering data analysis okay so the last one is data interpretation interpretation Okay, so in data interpretation, so it comes after the uh, comes after the data analysis. So uh, this includes uh, findings. Findings and relating that findings
Okay, so we have a data presentation. So it involves, so it is, uh, it come after, so it's just, uh, it comes after. Okay. So it comes. So it comes after data analysis. So this is not F but D. So data analysis. So it includes finding and relating uh, those um, um, result of the of the data analysis, which is called the findings, to existing theories and earlier study on that area. So so basically, we are interpreting what is the result of the data analysis for example in your study that if you are good in math so if you are good in math you are bad in english okay so first uh, let's say that you found that there is a direct correlation or is there is a direct relationship and it was proven by your uh, data analysis so this findings so this will now be your findings so these findings must be um, must be supported or must be related or we must find a way to relate this one to existing theories so that's why if you are having a research um, project or a research study, so you must relate your findings into your RRL or your or your review of related literature, in which on this um, RRL you will find your existing theories. Okay. So it is not um, it is not um, a rule that your that your findings must uh, must uh, be the same with the existing theory or must be on agreement with the ex existing theory, but rather it must it could be against the existing theory. So it depends on the result of your study. If ever if your findings is in agreement with the existing theory so you cite the factors or you cite the the characteristics of your data or of your findings that in agreement with the existing theories if it's if it is against the exi existing theories you will also cite the characteristics or the factors of your findings okay so those are the branches or those are the processes in the statistics there are also two types of statistics and I believe you have known this one uh, during your um, during your senior high days so this so we have the types of statistics so there are two so first we have the descriptive So this the descriptive descriptive statistics. So uh, it's it's involve the so it is the it summarizes the data.
Okay, so descriptive statistics so summarizes data numerically and or graphically. Then the results are interpreted using mean and standard division. So basically, you're just describing uh, your result. So for example, if the the average of the of a certain uh, class, their mean or their average is eighty five percent. So meaning you are going to describe this one that the the whole class their average grade is above the uh, the passing which is 75 percent so that is how um, the simple way on how descriptive statistics works so if you are going to have a standard division so for example the division is 2.5 so meaning 2.5 um, 2.5 of the class you know, are deviates, so deviates from the mean. So meaning there is a a longer arms. Um, there is a, the there is a greater chance that uh, more students are on the above um, above average or above the 85 percent um, grade. So that. That is how descriptive statistics work using the mean as a division. Of course, we are also going to discuss this further during our discussion of the measures of central tendency. So, so we will uh, we will know far uh, more about mean as division. Also, we have the mode and the median. The next one is inferential. Okay, so inferential is just um, uh, it involves uh, the generalization of the findings. The findings of a sample of a sample of a population so let's just have this one population population to make conclusions to make conclusions about the nature of the whole case okay, mm -hmm. problem in our pen of the whole So, in inferential statistics, is the generalization of findings of a same of a sample of a population population to make conclusions about the nature of the population. So, basically, you have a, a findings of a certain number of uh, a certain sample of a population. For example, we have uh, one thousand of 1,000 respondents out of let's say 1 million then during your um, uh, data gathering process uh, data, data presentation and, da and data analysis you found out that 90% um, of them so 90% of the 1,000 uh, we are in favor of online class of online class okay so you could make a conclusion that also 90% uh, of the 1 million can 
is also in favor of online class. So that is inferential. So you are making inferences. You are making conclusions of your findings based on your findings from a sample or a representative of the population of the whole population uh, that will be applicable to the whole population so that is how inferential statistics work okay so on our next topic we are going to discuss uh, what is a data then we we'll go uh, a little background history on um, statistics then data the types of data and the methods of um, the, the methods of gathering data okay so thank you for watching this video so so sorry for my my penmanship I hope you understand our discussion for uh, for for today so again enjoy learning <laughs>